Get access to exclusive tutorials and take your paracord weaving to the next level by supporting this channel on Patreon. Hey what's going on guys, Tim here again. In today's video we'll be making the Tao Tao Falls paracord bracelet done knot and loop style. So this bracelet is pretty substantial, it is definitely on the thicker side, so you'll definitely have to add some length to make it fit your wrist. Hope you guys will like this one, so let's get into it. So to set up our bracelet, we've got three of our working colors. The gray on the bottom will be the core strand, and the green will be uh, tying a cow stitch over that. That will, be, uh, a, that will be a working color as well. It'll be the color on the outside. So what you're gonna do is double it over, and now make, tie like a single cow's hitch over all of those cords, like so. I've got it pointing upwards. So you can pull that a little bit tighter. And now you're gonna take those strands and move them to the sides. With the strand on the right side, what I'm gonna do now is pass it through that cow's hitch from the right side to the left side. And after you've done that, you can do the same thing on the other side. Take the cord on the left and pass it through that uh, double cow stitch, or sorry, the single cow stitch. You can pass it through that single cow stitch. Now what you have to do is start to firm up that knot. And at the same time, try to maintain about a half inch loop up top. That's going to be the knot and loop portion. So I've firmed that up to the size that I want. And you're gonna want your cords sitting like so. Also now I'm just moving that gray cord to kind of the bottom of, that, uh, of those cords in the middle. It'll be a little uh, messy, but uh, try to manage them as well as possible. Next, I'm gonna tie my diamond knot ahead of time. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I'm doing this with the gray strand just to show you guys. And I, with the cord here, I'm gonna put it through my fingers like so, make a loop with a strand on the right. Take the cord on the left, bring it underneath the strand on the right, and make it go over, under, over those three cords in the middle, like so. And bring the cord on the right, bring it above the cord, on the top and go from the back through to the front and do the same on the bottom. Now if that was too quick, uh, you can check out my dedicated diamond knot tutorial. So just firm up that knot. Uh, you don't have to pull it too tight because you may want to adjust it later, but uh, just firm it up enough so that we can get it on our jig. I now have my paracord on my jig, so I've got the loop through the top holding it up at the top and I'm using the diamond knot at the bottom to hold it on the jig like so. So now we can start weaving our Tao Tao Falls. Starting with the green strand on the right side, I'm gonna go under and over the core strands like so. And then left, left side, so make it go over top that other green strand and again go under and over like so. So you want that as your base. Now we're gonna start working with our colors. We're gonna start working with the left side. With that first moss strand, I'm going to loop it from the back to the front, like so. So it's just looping around that outside loop. And then I'm gonna work with my red. And again, I'm gonna go in from the front. I'm gonna go in from the front bring it to the back and bring it back to the front. So always make sure the, the terminal end is on the right side, like so. And with the final goldenrod, I'm gonna do the same thing as you guessed. Go in from the front, bring it around back, terminal end ends out on the right side, like so. All right, so that's the left side of the cords. Try to keep them organized and it will be a little confusing at first. Now that we've done that step, we can do the same thing on the other side, but this time I'm gonna start with the golden rod. I'm going to do that same loop, but I'm gonna do it on the outermost loop, like so. And then now we're gonna bring it into the inside. So 
Now I'm going to do the red strand. Loop it in from the front. Go around those two green strands in the middle. And remember it is in between the core. Two core strands like so. And now that we've finished that red one, we can finish it off with the green strand or the moss strand. So again, bring it around the front to the back. Loop it around those two green cords in the middle. And bring it back to the front. So that is the pattern. Now we're going to cinch everything together. Do this very uh, gradually. I like to pull on the green cords a little bit, then I start to pull on the main colors a little bit. And if you just pull them kind of upwards, you'll be able to get that slack out. So again, just keep gradually cinching everything together. It works to, it really helps to hold on to the entire thing and just kind of give it a, a good pull. And you definitely do want to make sure that the uh, outermost strands, the dark green strands, those are pulled uh, almost as tightly as you can just to keep the tension nice and even. You definitely want to ensure that you have consistent tension over this bracelet, otherwise um, the bracelet might look kind of wavy. All right, so that was the first knot. Now we're going to do it again. I'm going to move all my cords up to the top. So now we're going to repeat that same process, starting with the right strand again, go under over and make sure that left strand goes over top the opposite cord and then go under over the core as well. And for the second knot, you're going to do the exact same process as the first one. So we're going to start with the cords on the left side. So again, starting with the moss cord, bring it to the front and loop it around from the front to the back. Working with the second cord in between the two core strands, loop it around those two uh, main weaving strands. And finishing off with the golden rod. Again, from the front to the back, loop it around the two main weaving strands in between the core strands. And from this point, we're going to go to the right side and you're going to go with the golden rod on the outside loop, loop it around from the front to the back terminal strand on the uh, right side. And then go to the red. Again, loop it around those two main weaving strands in between the core strands. And we're going to finish it off with the moss strand loop it around front to back around those two main weaving strands. So that is essentially the pattern and um, you're just going to continue tying this pattern all the way down your uh, core until you get to almost the end. So again, uh, cinch up this one very gradually, but again, make sure that your tension is even on each and every knot. So um, if you you know, cinch one up kind of loosely and then do the next one tightly. You may, you might get some kind of waviness in the kind of uh, consistency of your bracelet. So make sure you're very consistent with your tension. Now, when you've gotten down to near the bottom of your bracelet and you have enough length, uh, again, you're going to do the same uh, starter over under over under on both sides of the uh, main weaving strands. And now you're going to continue that same pattern. However, this time uh, with the moss strand, I'm just going to pass it from the front to the back. That's it. Okay, so you're going to do the exact same order, but you do not need to loop it to the front. So now the red goes through the middle like so, 
and then goldenrod through the middle. This way all the cords end up on the back and that's where we can snip and singe them. So I did the first three, now we're gonna do the next three. Goldenrod goes on the very left side through that outer loop and then red through the middle and green through the middle. Okay, so this way we can have a nice clean ending to this bracelet. So from here, again, you're going to cinch everything up, pull tight on those uh, main weaving strands, and get all the excess out to the back. You get all that slack out. And do make sure you give this enough tension because um, it will need to hold everything uh, nice and tightly. And from here to secure it, we're gonna tie two simple cobra knots. So right strand over the core, left underneath, and back through the, outs, uh, the other side. So just tie two simple cobra knots like so, and that will secure your uh, bracelet. And after this part, again, um, take up a bit more of the slack in case there is any left, because uh, those two cobra knots will really lock it down nice and tight. So I did adjust the placement of my diamond knot to make sure it's uh, the, the right length. And from here, all you're gonna do is snip and singe the excess paracord off the back. So I'm gonna clip that off with my scissors, take my torch lighter to it, and I'm just gonna press down on it with my knotter's tool on each and every strand. However, I'm not gonna do the um, two excess strands at the end of the diamond knot just yet because I want to add a little bit of a tab to that uh, those two end strands. Now this part is optional, but um, I thought it would kind of finish the look of the bracelet and also make that knot and loop uh, closure a bit more secure, having that extra length of the tab there. I'm just going to take some micro cord. I have about a foot here, and I'm just going to tie some uh, mic uh, sort of cobra knots and do a cobra knot uh, section on this tab of the sort of tail end of the diamond knot. So you don't have to do this, but I just thought it would look nice. And um, having that little length, uh, extra length on that uh, end tail there, I feel like it does make the uh, knot loop closure just a bit, a little bit uh, less prone to slipping out in case the uh, length of the bracelet is not perfect, but uh, there should be enough tension on your wrist to hold it in place. So yeah, I'm just gonna tie about an inch worth of cobra knots with the micro cord all the way down these two strands. And once that is finished, of course, I'm just going to clip off the excess cord on the micro cord, press it down, do that on both sides. And of course, just clip off the last two strands there. So there we have it, guys. The Tao Tao Falls Knot Loop Bracelet. Uh, this one does, I would think it does make a better key fob than it does a bracelet. It is very substantial and thick. Um, however, you could do a dog collar for this. This would work great as a dog collar. And uh, yeah, that is the Tao Tao Falls. Remember guys, I do run a Patreon page to support this channel. Uh, if you guys want access to exclusive tutorials and uh, many other benefits, feel free to check out the link for that in the video as well as the description down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.